You want freedom. You want financial freedom. You want time freedom. You want freedom to be able to choose what you do in your life. You want to create an income doing something you actually enjoy that feels purposeful. You want to design the life that you want. But what really happens is that you end up doing the client work, running out of time, having to go pick up the kids, having a to-do list that is just endless and it feels impossible. I know, I get it. <sighs> Take a breath. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Here's the thing. You start a business because you want to create life on your own terms, but sometimes it ends up feeling like another jail. You bought yourself a job and you are bound to it and it hasn't given you the time freedom that you want necessarily. It's your boss instead of you being the master of the situation. It doesn't have to be like that. It's okay if that's where you're at. It's okay. There is a way out and there's good news at the moment. We live in a time that is unprecedented and often we use that word unprecedented in not such a good way lately in the last few years, you know, COVID anyone and all sorts of things. But in this aspect, it's unprecedented because you have unprecedented access and opportunity. And even if you kind of know about it and feel overwhelmed and haven't managed to use it, I'm getting to it it's doable. You can get there. So the unprecedented access, you're looking at it. Probably you're holding it in your hand, most likely. Or you could be on a computer and that's still part of it. But you know, we all have these mobile phones with access to these media platforms that we don't need to ask permission to use. It's there for free. In the past, if you wanted to create an audience, you had to beg, plead, market, pay, you had to try to get yourself somehow onto a television show or a radio or buy a full page ad in the newspaper or something. But to get in front of people in the media wasn't easy and had a hefty price tag attached to it. Now you don't need to wait for anyone. We all have access to it for free. But I get it. I know you're busy. It seems overwhelming. You don't know where to start and you don't ever seem to have the time. I get it. I know it's okay. You can start taking action, even if it's small. You can start taking action, even if it's a bit slower than you'd have in mind. It might surprise you. It might not be as slow as you think. You can take action, but you need to prioritize some time to yourself. Maybe it's just half an hour or an hour, and you need to do that first. But before you even do that, you need to deal with your mindset. Because if you spend that first hour doing what I've said because I said so and you're trying to do the right thing, but you're still in a state of survival and panic, then it's not really going to work. The first thing you need to do is to deal with your mindset. And it's okay, you might be shouting at me, oh, it's not mindset. I have all these obligations and I have, I've got to pay the bills and I've got to feed the family and those things. Yes, that is why we end up in survival. But if you're watching this, you're searching for another way. If you're watching this, you have hope. If you're watching this, you can do it because you already know there's something inside of you that knows that you can. So the first thing to do is to deal with that mindset. You might need to actually not plunge into action straight away. You might need to seek some help with your mindset, go see a hypnotherapist or something, something that can get you out of panicking and just bring you into the present moment and get those survival instincts to calm down. And the other thing is, I have a meditation that helps with this. From what I have learned with talking to people who have studied in this in depth and they've shared with me techniques that I've put into this hypnosis meditation that I have that you can get for free. So you can start with this. And it is to calm your mind and to help you be able to be more creative and start to change the limiting beliefs and the feelings of being stuck and the feelings of hopelessness. So you can get that for free. Once you have de dealt with that and you're feeling in a calmer frame of mind, then you're in a place to know and understand and believe that you have what it takes. If you're watching that, you know that step into that more and more. You watching this, you know you have what it takes. You do. You have that hope. 
You haven't given up on yourself, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this. You were born with everything you need to succeed in this life. Once you recognise that slither of hope in yourself, then make a pledge with yourself that you will spend the first whatever you can do, half hour, one hour, making your dreams come true. It might be that you just write. You just write, and this is going to be content, and down the track you can turn it into a YouTube video, but you just write, and then you can share that. You can start sharing it on social media and not keeping yourself a secret. Because if you do what you need to do and grow your audience, and you can grow your audience, you can, by being you and being you online, then let people know you exist and solve your own problems and share that with the world. And people who are like you, who have the same issues, because you're not alone, will resonate with what you have to say. And you can grow a platform and you can do that. And over time, If you grow an audience, like initially you might want to do freelance and client work, but you might want to move to things that don't take as much of your one-on-one time, like courses or products. If you can sell one thing, then you can sell two things and you can keep going. And even if you're not making the targets of the, you know, the coveted 10K months or whatever, or if you just do the math and just work out, if I grow my sales by 10% each month, even if it starts small, then it compounds and what started as a modest month, two years down the track, you will be having your 10K months. Like we see all this stuff about quantum leaps and stuff. And look, that's all well and good, but sometimes it just feels too attainable. But just if you just realize that one sale, one month, and then 10% more the next month and 10% the more after that, do the math, do the math, and you will see that that actually counts. So here's the thing. Nobody is coming to save you. but you're not alone. You are the one that can save yourself. You are the one that will save yourself. And you have support. You have support in the seen and unseen and me. You have support and you have everything, the universe cheering you on to succeed, but they want to see you do it. You can do it. You can discover the power that's in you. The power is in you and you are the one that can set yourself free. You are more powerful than you ever imagined. And commit to a long-term vision. And the long-term vision combined with hope will give you the motivation that you need to stick with it. And even if you miss a day here and there, you just stay focused on that long-term vision. And just think about people like Tim Ferriss and Marie Folio and Denise Duffield Thomas and anyone that's built up a following, it's over a long-term vision and a belief that it'll be worthwhile and that they will succeed. And if you do something like podcasts or a YouTube channel, then you're building a deeper relationship with people. And from that deeper relationship, you have a connection and you get remembered and you help change lives. And if you do that and stick with it and build your audience, then success is inevitable. If you need help with the podcasting things, I've got resources and I can help you with that. So check the links in the description. So decide on your vision, decide it will happen, be happy with small steps and small achievements along the way. Celebrate every little achievement along the way and believe in yourself and know that you've got this and do what it takes to look after yourself. And I'm cheering you on. Grab the free resources in the links below and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Stay fearless, hit subscribe and let's dive into the next episode.